Hi, everyone. I'm Lu Wang with JD.com uh, from China. I'm glad to give the talk about our paper, Implicit User Awareness Modeling by Candidate Items for CTR Prediction in Search as. Online advertising such as Search as and uh, Display as is one of the most important business models for search engines, e-commerce platforms, social networks, and so on. Cost per click is a widely used online advertising mechanism in which advertisers pay for each user click on their sponsoring items. With this mechanism, it is necessary for the advertising platform to estimate the click-through rate, known as CTR, for each candidate item, and then select one item to display in order to maximize the expected revenue. In a typical case, given a set of candidate items, the eight platform chooses one item to display by maximizing the product of the predicted CTR and uh, the advertiser's speed. User, uh, user click usually showcases strong comparison patterns, especially among competing or relevant items within personalized awareness. For example, for a user who pursues the cost-effective issue, a sponsored item that is much more expensive than its competing items is obviously less likely to be clicked. Note that the comparison patterns play an effect only if they are actually within user awareness. If the user does not know anything about the competing items, certainly there will be no valid comparison pattern. Therefore, the relative positioning of the target item, that is the item to be predicted among its competing or relevant items within user awareness, could be a strong pattern for CTR prediction. User behavior modeling could be seen as a way to capture comparison patterns. The motivation is clearly intuitive. There is a straightforward constructive relationship between the target item and the items that a user has viewed or clicked before, which is naturally within user awareness. As such, the user behavior data could work as an implicit comparison context and have a profound impact on CTR. Despite being successful in practice, User behavior modeling still has several inherent limitations. On the one hand, it often suffers from the co-start problem in the new user case, where the user's behavior sequence does not contain any item competing or relevant with the target item. That is, there is no valid comparison patterns in the user behavior sequence. On the other hand, when the length of the user behavior sequence increases, most of the items in the sequence could be irrelevant with the target item. It is difficult to precisely capture comparison patterns of the target item from the noisy sequence. That is the behavior noise problem. Our question is, could we model comparison patterns within user awareness in another manner orthogonal to user behavior modeling? To answer uh, the question, we started modeling user awareness about competing or relevant items in an implicit manner by exploiting the business characteristics of search as. In search as scenarios, in order to ensure user experience, all of the candidate items for the CTR prediction model must be relevant to the user query which is usually guaranteed by an upstream relevance model filtering out all irrelevant items. For example, when a user queries air conditioner, almost all of the candidate items for the CTR prediction model are air conditioners across a variety of brands and uh, shops. Inspired by this observation, we propose to leverage these candidate items as surrogates for competing or relevant items about which the user could probably have prior knowledge. 
In other words, we take these candidate items as original materials for modeling implicit user awareness. We propose candidate items modeling, CRM, a CTR prediction framework to capture comparison patterns from candidate items. Formally speaking, a classical CTR prediction model could be characterized as a function which takes the features on user query and target item as the input and uh, outputs the predicted CTR. Based on this, our proposed CRM framework additionally takes the set of candidate items as another input, which is used to capture implicit comparison patterns within user awareness. CRM consists of three components, the select sub module, the CRE module, and the backbone module. Select is the sub module. It is used to select the items from the candidate, candidate set that the user could be probably aware of and uh, to introduce the inductive bias for the CRE module that uh, these items play a more important role while modeling the implicit context content in the candidate items. Specifically, select computes an impression probability or selection score for each candidate item given the user and the query. The impression probability is then utilized by the CRE module to balance the weights of candidate items when computing the context vector. Select to be a simple multi-layer perception and uh, the output is scaled from zero to one using a standard logistic sigmoid function. In order to ensure the select acts as an impression predictor, we leverage impressions in the whole search session as auxiliary supervision. The candidate items encoder or CRE module is the core component of our CRM framework. It encodes the set of candidate items into a context vector for each candidate item. That is the, the target item for the downstream modules. Since CRE aims to encode the set of candidate items, it is a reasonable inductive bias that the output of CRE, uh, that is the contact vector, should not be changed with the order of the candidate items. In other words, the contact vector should be permutation invariant with the back to candidate items. Moreover, CRE should also characterize cross item interactions among candidate items, especially the interactions between the target item and uh, the other candidate items in order to capture comparison patterns. Therefore, we build CIE on the basis of the architecture of transformer. Specifically, the transformer encoder derives the weighted embeddings of all the candidate items, of which the weights are the selection scores returned by the select sub module. The output is then passed to the transformer decoder together with the target item the transformer decoder outputs the final context vector. The backbone module is the essential component to predict CTR. It takes the user query and the one candidate item along with the corresponding context vector returned by CRE as the input and the outputs the resulting CTR prediction. The backbone module could be realized from retrofitting the existing state-of-the-art state CTR prediction models. In other words, our CRM framework could enhance a wide variety of CTR prediction models already in production, showing great application value. In our implementation, we simply 
concatenates the context vector with the output of the penultimate layer of the vanilla CTR prediction model. And uh, its last layer, uh, it's usually a fully connected layer, is adjusted accordingly to match the dimensionality of the concatenated vector. CRM supervision signals come from two sources, clicks, that is uh, whether the post item is clicked and uh, impressions, that is whether the candidate item is exposed. The click supervision directly encourages accurate prediction for CTR and uh, the impression supervision instructs the select submodule to select important candidate items which are likely to be exposed to the user. Okay, since our proposed CRM modules are a general framework, which is able to work with a wide variety of backgrounds, we would like to answer the question in experiments. How does CRM reinforce different CTR prediction baselines on different data sets? We conduct our experiments on four classical baselines of backbones. Since public available CTR prediction data sets do not contain the candidate item set for each instance, it is not feasible for us to conduct the experiments on these benchmarks. Therefore, we collect two real-world industrial data sets termed the Candy CTR Pub and the Candy CTR Pro from the main traffic of a search ad system of one of the world's largest e-commerce platform, JD.com. Candy CTR Pub is a lightweight and anonymous version of Candy CTR Pro, and uh, we make it public to facilitate further academic research. We conduct our main, uh, main offline experiments and uh, evaluation studies on Candy CTR Pub. We also show offline results on Candy CTR Pro and its corresponding online A-B testing results. Results on Candy CTR Pub are shown in this table. CI indicates incorporating candidate items directly by transformer without the select some module. SM indicates the whole CRM framework containing select. Comparing the baseline models with their CRM counterparts, SM, we obtain significant and consistent performance gain across all of the baselines and all of the metrics. The improvement on AOC and the GAOC indicate that the ranking performance is highly improved by introducing CRM. Meanwhile, the classification log loss decreases suggesting the model converts better with the implicit comparison patterns provided by modeling candidate items. The results verify the effectiveness of our proposed CRM. Comparing the baseline models with CI, it could be seen that although AOC and the log loss are improved, the improvement is very limited compared with models that also incorporate select. One possible reason is that with lengthy and noisy candidate item leads, it is difficult to capture the user awareness about the competing items without impression supervision. Hence, we conclude select plays an important role in CRM. We further conduct experiments to validate the, the effectiveness of CRM in the real world search ad system. Our baseline model has been highly optimized. It consists of complicated user behavior modeling modules. We train the model on our 10 billion scale Candy CTR Pro dataset. We report both offline results on the test set and the results of online A-B testing. We can observe that incorporating CRM outperforms the baseline model on offline AOC notably Owing to CRM's simplicity, we have successfully deployed the CRM enhanced base model in the search ad system. In our online A-B testing, CRM achieves both clicks and the revenue gain. 
Interestingly, CRM also works for both cold start and uh, active users, showing that CRM could be orthogonal to user behavior modeling. In conclusion, we propose a novel enhancement method for CTR prediction in such a scenario. Our proposed CRM, uh, that is candidate items modeling, characterizes users' implicit awareness on candidate items. CRM is a general framework being able to enhance a wide variety of state-of-the-art CTR prediction models. Owing to its simplicity and generality, we have successfully deployed CRM in production in a such a system at JD.com, achieving significant online improvement. Uh, that's all, thanks. Thanks a lot, Lou, for the great talk. Thanks a lot. Any question for Lou? I remind you to put your questions on the chat section of Zoom. No questions on Whova. If you want to raise your hand, uh, you can do that. Okay, I have one question for you, Lou. Um, okay. Uh, regarding the select component, uh, could you please come back to the slide uh, where you introduced the select component? You told us you were developing it using MLP networks. Uh, I was wondering if you evaluate the, in, the, the error done by this component uh, using MLP, and if you also consider uh, evaluating other kinds of architecture for predicting uh, this kind of probability. Okay. Uh, uh, the, the reason we, uh, 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 the, the reason we use MLP for selects uh, mainly contributes to the efficiency issue. Uh, okay. When we deploy our model online, we can, uh, uh, the efficiency is, uh, is, is our main concern. Yeah, in our environments, we did not try other architectures for select. Yeah. I see your point. So you go with MLP just because it's very fast and works quite well. Is it correct? Uh, sorry? You choose MLP oh, oh. because it's efficient. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay, I understand. 